What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. We have really, really good canola prices. So we're going to be taking advantage of that today. How is everybody doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm trying out a couple new release times for Lone Oak. So if this time works better for you, let me know. If the time that we released yesterday works better for you, a little bit earlier in the afternoon, let me know as well. I know that people all over the world watch these videos, mainly uh, in the United States. I believe about 80% uh, of my audience is from the United States. So I want to make sure that I get the best content out possible at the right time. So it's very icky outside right now. So we can't do a whole lot today, but what we can do is make some freaking money yeah we can make all kinds of money so we got that one put away let's see we want another tractor let's say i've got this one i was using it i was about to start this field but then the weather got super nasty oh boy a little bit laggy poo laggy poo's all right though so what we've got here is we've got well, it's not a dilemma. We got to do a double dump, but I don't have the money to get another semi. So we are going to double dump with a truck and a tractor. Where's our money coming from? Agri XJS. Cool. So not too far. Let's get this pulled forward. There we go. And pull forward here. Awesome. 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 We should make some good money, and that is great, because we're currently, I think, $150,000, $190,000 in debt right now. No good. And even after this sell, we're only going to be up a hundred and... Gosh. Uh, if we make two hundred grand off this, I will be surprised. I'll be very, very surprised. So, off we go. Took a little bit longer than I wanted it to get up here. That's okay. That is all right. We're still going to be making money. Tons of money, in fact. Okay. That's on. That's on. Tip. Chip out. Bam. Tip. And the money's going up. Now, we'll say this. I have decided what I'm going to buy if I make enough money. Now we got a couple different things to sell today. Hopefully this goes over. Oh yeah, very much so. $219,000. This is good. So what do we do? Oh, don't not borrow, no. I was gonna say, what do we do after we get a big amount of money that's come in? We pay back our loan. We only have 33 grand now, but guess what? That's 33 grand that we have. Yes, yes it is. All right, back to the farm. We got a couple more crops that we need to sell today. Next up is soybeans. Now, soybeans are going for a decent price. It says that it is bright green all the way up, but I'm just not... I'm not convinced that it's as high as it could possibly is. $2,700. We are going back to Agri XJS, and we had 50 some. So we're going to make well over 100 grand here. But it's. You know. You know? <laughs> oh, man. More to sell, more to make. You know how it is. Money, 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 money. Money is good. I like money. You like money. Everybody likes money. Let's make some money. Now, how much money are we going to be making off of this? Like I said, I think it's going to be about 100, 100 grand. Somewhere in there. I mean, it's definitely going to be over 100 grand. Five times seven, two. Well, so one way to find out. Big money, big money. Come on, big money. Yeah, definitely over. Uh, yeah, no, that's $159,000 right there. 
That's fantastic. <laughs> Quite fantastic. We have one more crop that we need to sell today, and today is a good day to do so. That is our sunflowers. Our sunflowers are going to be selling for quite a bit as well. However, the only problem with sunflowers is that we only have like 18,000 liters of them. Not a problem. It's just, you know, we're not going to be making the most amount of money possible. However, we're still going to be making good money. All right, so it appears that these sunflowers did reach their full potential as we were up there. $2,343. We should make some pretty good money off of that. And money making number three. There she blows, $42,000. So we started the day with about 800 bucks. About halfway through the day so far, we got $236,000. Not too shabby. I'm going to try and keep from spending that. I have a problem with spending. Let's, uh, let's not spend so much. <laughs> Ooh, but there is one thing that I want. No, 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 no. Don't buy you boo. But you want it. Oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Uh, well, so we've got a massive corn, corn harvest we're about to start. And that's going to encompass all of our fields. Every single one of them. And, ooh, Helper E has completed their task. Very cool. And in order to make that happen, we're going to need larger planters. Ooh, wait a minute. Didn't we do something last episode or two episodes ago? something this field right here five nope still growing not ready yet okay how long do poplars take i don't even know good questions good questions dj good questions <laughs> so uh what we need is a big corn planter that's going to make planting a whole lot easier a whole lot more simple it's going to take a little bit of stress off of us. Now, the corn planter that we have right now is great. And it works just fine. But, if we could get something better, would, why would we not just get something better? Are you done? Are you really done? I'm going to inspect your work. <laughs> yeah, we got some down here. Got a couple little triangles going on. Nothing that I didn't... Nothing that we haven't been like, Oh, well, well that's just not going to happen. Nah, it's going to happen. There we go. Whoop, I am. Let's get those. But we are going to get a new corn planter. Let's take a look. Sewing machines. So, the corn planter that we are using currently is this cat right here, the Horse Maestro 1675SW, 12 meters. Okay, pretty good size. This is what I want. 18.2 meters, 142 grand. Only need 280 horsepower to do it. Our money's going down, but... We got a new corn planter. That new corn planter is going to make us our money back tenfold. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's bring it down here. Let's check it out. And here she is. Our brand new corn planter. Oh, yeah. This thing is massive. What's great about this is not only does it plant corn, but it plants pretty much everything. Uh, I think with the exception of root crop and grass, this thing plants just about everything. So how cool is that? Let's bring it through here. Let's go ahead and get it filled up with some seed. Woo! A little bit of seed. Now, I will say this. This planter will not do fertilizer. Now, if you hook up, there's there's ways to make it do it. But, yeah, <laughs> but 
But I will say this, that is why 30, 35, and 45 is already done. Those are already done. We've already put fertilizer in the ground. We've got one fertilization state on right now. Therefore, we're good to go. I'm looking at field five. Ooh. We may want to throw some throw some good stuff on field five as well. I'm not sure. Do we need to put fertilizer down for poplars? Does anybody know? It's a good question. I think we will anyway. Um, it just seems like a, a, a worthwhile asking question. Okay. Bring this over to corn. There it is. Corn indeed. Make this wide turn. That is the thing. If you have an articulated tractor, this isn't too much of a problem. However, if you've got something like, oh, I don't know, a case magnum, this is a bit of an issue. <laughs> hey, this field's ready to be done again. We might have to go back. We may have to plant, uh, or not plant, we may have to go through and cut that again. Maybe we'll use the grass as uh, chaff this time. Do a little bit of extra silage. Who knows? Definitely make some extra money doing that. Okay. We have corn planting time. And it is a rock and roll time. And I think it's time that we rock out a little bit. All right, just a few more spots to hit, and then we are all done with this cornfield. See if we can go at it a certain way. Now, you probably look at this going, oh, DJ, you messed up again. It's all dark right there, but it's all light over there. You didn't get your fertilizer in like you said you did. No, I did. It's just when you hire a worker, it kind of does some funky stuff every once in a while and makes you think you haven't. But don't worry, we have. Oh, we have. Oh, come on, really? itty bitty little teeny tiny little baby spot over here hit it hit it hit it hit it go 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 drop it pick it up bam uh yes nice very cool so let's get folded up and let's move over because we're gonna take that back over here as well we got another field to hit we have field uh, 30, 35. At first, I wasn't so sure if I was going to do both fields or not. Uh, but I have decided to do both fields in corn. And we're just going to drive through here. Boink. <laughs> All right. So this is going to be our worker dude. And then we are going to hit headlands with the other one. Let's get this all set up. We do need a little bit of overlap because there's some spots down there that just for some reason are a little farther over than, than this is. So right there, hire worker. Worker plants corn. Worker is good at planting corn. Very good. Now where is, here we go. This is what I wanted. Fold her up. Nice. So we got, uh, what, two more fields to do, technically. You want to count them as separate fields. And then I think we'll be good. Let's roll through here. Let's get all this done. Oh, yeah. All right. So that is going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you got anything you want to see, let me know down in the comments section. If you got any ideas, again, 
let me know down in the comment section below. I know it was a little bit of a shorter video today, but we got everything done we needed to do. And instead of wasting your time, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go start making a couple other videos. So hopefully we get some extra content out later on. So, that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and we will see you later. Peace.